Common Council. Today is April 21st, 2021. The meeting is now called to order. Can everyone please stand for Pledge of Allegiance and prayer? I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Let us bow our heads. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you, we reach out to you, O oh God, our Savior, and our hope in all the days to come. I'd like to thank our first responders. Please protect us and protect and watch over them. Please help us as a council make the right decisions. As we know, these are still uncertain times. I ask all of these in your blessings in your name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Whitfield. Okay, we have a quorum. Comments of council members, special recognitions and resolutions. Are there any? Madam President, I have two items, if I may. Okay. Uh, first, I want to thank the administration for hosting the Shredded Day on Saturday. That was very helpful to me and my family. So thank you. And secondly, I want to give a reminder announcement of the Trays District public meeting and presentation tomorrow evening, April 22nd, 6.30 p.m. in the Lawrence Public Assembly Room. Of course, that's located at 9001 East 59th Street. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you. Any other counselors? Madam President, I just want, uh, I just have one thing really quick. Okay. Um, I would like to thank the administration for the um, sidewalk that was requested by a constituent of mine off of Oak Landon and it was approved. It just got put in and it looks great. And I've already gotten compliments from that constituent and thanking the administration. So I just wanted to send that out and just say thank you for getting that done um, just in that area. Great, thank you. Madam Any, President. Yes, Councillor Whitfield. I just like to say thank you to administration and our street department. Um, there was a pothole in front of my home and I never complained about it. And this week um, or early last week, I walked out and drove and it was filled. So whoever put in that request, I want to say thank you. Yes, thank you for that. And um, also, I know that um, our street department has been around the city pretty busy with the unexpected uh, snowfall yesterday. Um, there's several trees down in the city all over the place. And so I know they've been really busy with that and, and we really do appreciate it. That, that sort of hit us from nowhere. So <laughs> thank you for that. Any other counselors? Okay, seeing none, next on the agenda we have signing of vouchers, approval of claims, and authorization of payment. Is there a motion? Madam President, before we uh, make the motion, I, I had uh, requested just some feedback from uh, the controller as the, okay. the chair of the Finance Committee. Would you okay. prefer the motion first yep. or the discussion yep. second? We'll get the motion the second. We'll have discussion before okay. we do the vote, okay? So is there a motion? I'll make the motion. Motion, Councillor Chavis. Is there a second? Second. Second, okay. Councillor Whitfield. <laughs> Discussion. Councillor Denny. Okay, I jumped the, the gun there a little bit, but uh, thank you for, for letting me jump in here. I uh, just had a few questions uh, that I put to uh, Controller Finwick yesterday, and he got back with me just a few hours ago. Um, and just to clarify a few of them, there's, there were a few um, vouchers here that are over our $25,000 amount that we look at. Uh, one of them was Ascension St. Vincent Public Safety Medical. Uh, that had to do with annual physicals uh, for our firefighters. And um, 
then I, I did ask, even though it was under the twenty-five thousand, about the, uh, the the charges to Garmon Construction, and if that was related to Station Thirty Eight at all. And his response was no. That's actually our economic development uh, director. Those charges are, are with that. Um, scrolling down here, excuse me. I got to go through my email real quick. No problem. Then um, there was a large charge to the, the professional services sign fabricating. I kind of had a feeling that was regarding the the signs that just went up in all of our parks, which would have come through the parks board. And so, and that's what it was. That's our new park signs. Uh, Republic Services, that was the largest that's on there for 157, 122, and that's a monthly payment for the trash pickup services uh, per the contract. The uh, Tyler Technologies, uh, he said that's the annual maintenance fee for New World Systems. And um, Weldon Engineering, that's a smaller one. It's under 20,000, it was 16,675. I didn't know what that was, uh, but he said it's a DPW inspections uh, for January through March. And then Sondheim Solutions was the monthly IT services and cybersecurity software renewals. Uh, there was a couple on there that I saw were new ones that I see Chief, Hoff, Chief Hoffman's here today uh, for Intometer, Into, am I saying that correct, Chief? Intometrics? Intoximeters? Intoximeters, <laughs> thank you, I can't read my own writing. And then uh, Pulse Technology Partners, uh, which are some new uh, new equipment for the the cruisers. I think it new radar detectors. Yeah, uh, just I thought it would be neat to to hear how you're using those and and the new equipment that goes along with that. But that's your prerogative, Madam Chair. When when you would no, like them. Fine. I mean, if if Chief Hoffman wants to just give us a high level on that, that would be great. Yep. Yeah. Intoximeters, that's the company from which we buy portable breath tests, which are roadside alcohol breath tests for um, suspected impaired drivers. Um, we ordered 11 of those. And then the Pulse Technology Partners, that's our vendor for our, um, our radar units, our handheld radar units that officers can use to uh, for speed detection. Um, we get a lot of speeding complaints and when we assign officers to go to certain areas uh, that actually many of your constituents talk about, um, well, they use the handheld radar units to measure speed. Um, and all of this was, was funded by um, uh, Deputy Chief Bixby sought and received an annual Edward Byrne grant, which is what we use to pay for those things that are listed, that Councilor Denny, those, those amounts that are listed there. Thank you, Chief, for that update. And um, that's always good to hear that we're able to secure some grant funding. So Absolutely. thank you so much. Appreciate Absolutely. that. Thank you. So I have a motion and I have a second. Any more discussion? Okay. Seeing none, roll call vote. Councillor Wells. He's not on. Okay, I'm sorry guys, I can't do the video on right at the same time, so keep me That's honest. <laughs> um, Councilor Russo Moroff. Aye, uh, uh, yes. Okay, Councilor Freeman. Yes. Councilor Denny. Yes. Councilor Shevlock. Yes. Councilor Russell. Yes. Councillor Whitfield? Yes. Councillor Chavis? Yes. Did I miss anyone? Okay, unanimous. Next, we have unfinished business. There is none. New business, there is none. We're adjourned. Have a wonderful evening, everyone, and be safe.